We're talking about the latest on the historic Artemis 1 mission to the moon. NASA says the success of the mission means astronauts will be aboard the next flight to the moon. The Orion capsule with no one on board splashed down in the Pacific yesterday. You can see that beautiful shot right here over my shoulder. CBS 4's Mark Strassman has more on NASA's most ambitious lunar mission in half a century. Splashdown. Orion back on Earth. After a textbook entry bringing its 25 and a half day mission to an end. It's lunar round trip over, but America's new chapter of deep space voyaging just beginning. I don't think any one of us could have imagined the mission this successful. And liftoff of Artemis 1. Last month, this dramatic night launch began the Artemis 1 test flight. In all, a 1.4 million mile space voyage. Sitting in the commander's seat, a mannequin outfitted with sensors. From deep space, Orion beamed back spectacular imagery of the moon and Earth. Twice, the capsule flew within 80 miles of the moon's surface. But the mission's biggest test came during Sunday's return. Orion slammed into the Earth's atmosphere at 25,000 miles per hour. The heat shield had to hold up against temperatures of 5,000 degrees, half as hot as the surface of the sun. We're gonna look at the data very carefully, but uh, I would say very happy with what we've seen so far on the heat shield. Sunday's splashdown, 50 years to the day after another landing, Apollo 17 touching down on the lunar surface. Okay, Houston, the Challenger has landed. The last time humans moonwalked. NASA wants to return now with the Artemis program. A crewed test flight around the moon in 2024 a moon landing later this decade. It is the beginning of the new beginning, and that is to explore the heavens. America's new era of moonwalking just took a giant leap closer. Mark Strassman, CBS News, 